Greetings everyone. I thought I'd make a quick video about Edward White's 1965 first American to do a spacewalk. And there's many things I could point out, but I'm going to try to keep this short. The main thing I want to concentrate on is his rotating helmet and um, vacuum and what happens if that rotating helmet had even just a pinhole leak. Uh, there's big problems that I'm going to get into and show you. I'm trying to make this a quick video. Uh, I will say that I've looked for other astronauts that have rotating helmets and I have not seen one. This is uh, 1965. I think they realized they messed up and did away with their rotating helmets. Let's take a look at this. Watch him turn his head here. Look at that. You see it? There's a big rotating his helmet. That's crazy. Okay. Let's take a look at a few other things here. Probably the first thing you notice is this is definitely looks like stop animation. Looks like watching an old episode of Gumby or something. But, uh, you know, I researched this and NASA's official explanation was they were trying to save film and uh, didn't shoot it at normal speeds. And I, I know they've, they've got an excuse for everything. It's unbelievable. But it just looks like a joke. Looks like stop animation. And uh, there's going to be a glove come fly out here in just a second or two. And I think that's just theatrics. Um, he's going to turn his head again here in a little bit. There he goes. Um... I want to show you this glove. Um, I think it's uh, just theatrics. Um, it just looks like stop animation. You can decide for yourself. Um, of course, they have an excuse, like I said. Oh, here it comes. Here comes a glove. <laughs> That's funny. I think it's just to help sell the idea, but you can decide for yourself, and please do. Part right, I just wanted to point this out. This is. Um, I mean, not much higher than a commercial flight. I mean, I can see the shoreline. I mean, it's, it's kind of silly. Um, and uh, here in just a second, we'll see a foot. There we go. All right. Well, I'm convinced. What happened from there to there? I mean, there's a couple islands, some low clouds, and... This looks completely different. There's that. It's always the same curvature, no matter how high they are. It's that fish islands. But uh, anyway, I don't want to get sidetracked on that. I just want to look at his helmet, how it rotates. And a lot of people overlook this, and uh, they don't do that today because the engineering of it is too complicated. People could pick it apart real easy. I think they realized they made a mistake and did away with it. I haven't found any more helmets out there that rotate like that. People don't maybe don't understand the seriousness that there's a leak in these suits and that helmet rotating would just be, I mean, that would be a hazard, just a, just a pinhole leak and it's a lot of trouble. People don't understand um, the dangers of a vacuum. And so I just wanted to show... show <laughs> okay, I just wanted to show what happens in a vacuum and I don't think NASA would design a helmet where it rotates like that there's there's no way they could make a tight seal and it's too dangerous if the uh, seal was to break or something obviously so uh, that's all I wanted to show is just I just wanted to concentrate on that helmet and people can decide for themselves and uh, thanks for watching have a great day